Now, for many years, Kenyan fruit farmers have lost almost half of their produce after harvest due to lack of markets and proper storage facilities. But a group of farmers from Western Kenya are currently smiling all the way to the bank after a food processor set base in the region. Philip Ketani visited the processor in Ramba, Siaya County, and tells us more on this week's episode of The Next Frontier. <music> Of all the fruits, mango is said to be the king of fruits. It is one of the most popular and nutritiously rich fruit with unique flavors and health-promoting qualities, thus making it the most popular seasonal fruit grown in the tropics. Mango is also a valuable fruit tree grown in arid and semi-arid regions of Kenya, where income-generating activities available to the resource-poor farmers are limited. But a certain fruit processor in western Kenya is working on improving the lives of farmers in Ramba. Uh, my benefit is that now I've got an outlet uh, that gives my mangoes value addition. Unlike the dairy sector, which is more organized and has fewer players, a majority of small-scale mango farmers are not organized in any form of marketing groups. Instead, they rely on brokers to sell their mangoes. Yeah. And the mangoes we're using, most of them are about just lightly to one kilo. Now, E and A Industries Limited, whose manufacturing activities and sale of perishable commodities, namely fruits and fresh juice, and Ranger Gold brand of mineral water, is working on ways of supporting local farmers in Western Kenya by collecting and buying their fruits, mainly passion, mango, and pineapple for processing. We process it, package it, and then we market it to the various outlets like hotels, restaurants, and uh, supermarkets. In 2016, E&A Industries leased the Ramba Fruit Processing Factory as a strategic business unit for expanding the company's operations from Nairobi to Western Kenya. This strategic business unit forms the basis for the partnership with the USAID Kenya Agricultural Value Chain Enterprise CAVS project with CAVS offering technical assistance, farmers and market linkages, and financial assistance. One of the biggest challenges has been uh, fruits are seasonal in nature. So you find like this time of the year, we have a lot of mango. There's excess of it. And then uh, in another two, three months, there's no supply. So the factory lies idle. But with the help of the USAID CAVS, e &A Industries and the 500 farmers have been able to develop a proper five-year business plan with the farmers doing their best to supply all the fruits available in a season. And now that they have a cold storage room with a capacity to store 10,000 kilograms of fruit pulp from an initial capacity of 500 kilograms. Now that we have storage, we are also looking into uh, updating the line so that we can have a uh, pasteurizer and also uh, uh, an aseptic filling line. Currently, 2,000 farmers supply various types of fruits, especially mango and yellow passion fruit. The farm buys yellow passion fruit between 600 shillings and 90 shillings per kilo and process 2 metric ton per month. Despite having a capacity to process 100 metric tons per month, most active months of the year are between December and March during the main mango season. Value addition is a dream of every producer. And for these farmers from Ramba Rarieda constituency, the dream is already here, and they are reaping the fruits of their labor. Philip Keitang for the next frontier. I shall leave it on business this Monday night. Let's take a quick commercial break.